bit of a circus outside of Florida courthouse today as Donald Trump's longtime ally, former advisor Roger Stone, insisted he is innocent just hours after his arrest. A dramatic early morning scene. The FBI arrested Stone at his Fort Lauderdale home, charging him with seven criminal counts, including witness tampering and making false statements about the release by WikiLeaks of stolen Democratic Party emails during the 2016 campaign. The charging documents, without naming names, say a senior Trump campaign official was directed to contact Stone about additional releases of damaging information about the Clinton campaign. After a judge released Stone on a quarter million dollar bond today, Stone expressed his continued support for Trump. But I have made it clear I will not testify against the president. The president but will you, you because I would have to bear false witness against him. This has nothing to do with the president, has nothing to do with the White House. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders reacting to Stone's arrest this morning. She was also asked about a tweet posted by Trump early last month that said, I will never testify against Trump. This statement was recently made by Roger Stone essentially stating that he will not be forced by a rogue and out-of-control prosecutor to make up lies and stories about President Trump. Nice to know that some people still have guts. So he, he has tweeted and he supported Roger Stone in, in his defiance of the special counsel. So the, the logical question really is, was the president encouraging, if you will, false statements, obstruction, things that are charged in the uh, Look, I that is probably one of the more ridiculous and insulting questions to accuse the president of the United States of asking someone to break the law. Frankly, it's just insulting. It's just not true. Today, Trump firing back on Twitter, posting greatest witch hunt in the history of our country. No collusion, border coyotes, drug dealers and human traffickers are treated better. Who alerted CNN to be there? Referring to CNN's exclusive look at Stone's arrest. A producer for the network says they were there on reporters' instincts. There was some unusual grand jury activity in Washington, D.C. yesterday. The grand jury, Robert Mueller's grand jury, typically meets on Fridays. Yesterday, a Thursday, there was grand jury activity. We also had some other signs that maybe something was going on this angle, the Roger Stone angle. So we showed up at his house this morning. We were the only ones there. And lo and behold, the FBI agents did come and arrest him. Stone is the sixth Trump aide charged in Robert Mueller's Russia probe with a total of more than 30 people charged overall. So what happens next? Well, Stone says he will appear in a Washington, D.C. court next week.